So, what did you all think of the play? Any thoughts? Huh? Uh-oh. Time to get serious. Now, are you sure you want to hear what we really think? Oh, absolutely! I had the courage to ask, didn't I? So, don't mince your words. Go ahead. Speak your mind. I can take it. Okay. Paimon will go first. So, the dialogue at the beginning was pretty good, but it ran out of steam as the story went on. Paimon could tell that you ran out of inspiration somewhere along the way. The characters were honestly a little bit ridiculous. Paimon didn't get what you were trying to do. The moment anyone started to show any kind of substance, suddenly the scene was over. Yes, all very good points, Paimon. I would add that in its attempt to pay tribute to the series A Thousand Nights, all semblance of a coherent was sacrificed. Plus, I do have to penalize you for the issues with the props. Miss Idea, what are you doing back here? Oh, you know, I return like the tide when people start discussing something important. Huh, especially when it has to do with criticizing my show. Mm-hmm, but there was one thing I liked about it. Just one, mind you. The story had a good ending. You think so? I thought I was letting him off lightly. Itia, could I borrow you for a moment? Oh, sure. Excuse me for a moment. Back to you, Paimon. Keep up the good criticism. Okay, in that case, Paimon did have one other complaint. Let's hear it. Taking criticism on the chin is all part of being a director. The ending was all wrong. The girls' motives were clear and simple the whole way through. It was kind of jarring when all she had to say was, I don't know. And doesn't anyone else find it weird how her whole community was on the run, but she was only looking out for herself the whole time? I'm fine. I'm not going to improve without feedback. I also learned a lot this time with the chance to be off stage. To be honest, it was a dream come true. What a great attitude! You don't seem upset at all by our comments. I wouldn't say I'm completely unaffected, but you're only speaking the truth. They're all very valid points. Still, now that Paimon thinks about it, you did finish the script in a bit of a rush. Hmm. Maybe we are being a little too hard on you. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. Nothing is as important to me as my work on the stage. We all use our imaginations when we're kids, right? I used to play with dolls in my own cardboard cutouts by the light of an oil lamp. The shadows would come to life and dance on the walls. I never got tired of it. Fast forward to now, and in many ways I'm still that same little kid. Lying on his bed, making sound effects. And I get the same joy from running a show now as I did in my little bedroom theater. Of course, a director can accomplish nothing without a cast and crew. So on that note, I want you to all know that I am eternally grateful to each and every one of you. <laughs>